Here we go again. Now we were going to the uh, Yambu Fish Market to buy some uh, talakitok. This uh, big uh, fish that we were going to make uh, sinigang. sinigang na talakitok. Uh, one ah, of uh, special uh, Filipino dishes in the Philippines. Sinigang mix. So come and join us to buy the fish in the fish market. Uh. Kasi pag dito na putol, maano na ito eh. Okay na siguro ito, 3-4 Ah, na and some spices for the sinigang. We use some uh, <laughs> So now we will going to pay the uh, vegetables that we have bought in here in the vegetable market in Yambo KSA. So he's the the owner. Hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check on this one. Yes, yes. 49 yen. 49 yen. Also, this is around 48 real. So, we're going to pay 100 real and we have some, some change. Sir, here's the payment. <laughs> so we have chains, 52 real. So we have already finished buying some vegetables in the vegetable market and it was around uh, 48 reals. So we have given a 100 real and we have a change of 52 real. So it's very costly here the vegetable due to the climate. Maybe they were not able to grow some vegetables here, but instead all are uh, imported from other countries. So that's why uh, vegetable here are very expensive. We have just arrived from the fish market and from the vegetable market. So here are the things that we have uh, bought. So you can see the fish. It is a very big fish. We call it uh, talakito. Actually, we are all laughing when we are buying this fish because this fish, the, the seller told us it is around 35 reals. And then uh, in Arabic, uh, I wanted to have some discount. So I said, come sa kamsin. <laughs> and then without knowing the, the seller, Told, okay, 60 reals. He said like that. So we agreed to buy this two piece for 60 reals. So when we are thinking regarding that the amount, because you will see this, he gives us this small piece for 25 reals only. And then the other one is only for 25 reals. So without knowing this is only 25 reals and this is 35 reals. <laughs> so that's why we are, we are all uh, laughing. So maybe because of the ano, of the communication job for the ano, for the uh, we have already cleaned and uh, chopped the fish. It is around five kilos of fish, talakito, and then we have two sachets of uh, mamasita sinigang sampalok mix, uh -huh. and then uh, we have uh, five pieces of tomato chopped. We have three pieces of uh, medium size of uh, onions chopped also. Then we have uh, two uh, 
uh, heads of uh, or globes of garlic. Then we have some chili, around 7 pieces. And uh, 10 pieces of uh, radish. And we have 3 fourth kilo of uh, string beans. And one bundle of spinach or water spinach or they call it Chinese spinach. Or in Tagalog, we call it Kang Kong. <laughs> and then we have our fish sauce for some saltness and some high dye salt. So that's all the ingredients. And come and join us to prepare to cook these dishes. We prepared one big pot for our cooking utensils. And then uh, we will put it on the stoves and we will go in to light it up. Okay? So now we have uh, turned on the fire and now we will go in to preheat the fat. So we need some cooking oil. So we will put some cooking oil. Okay. I just open it. Then I put some oil for sauteing our garlic. First, the garlic. As you see, it's really hot now. So you hear the sound from the oil. So now we will go to put the garlic. So we will just go to saute this garlic until golden brown. So, so that the aroma of the garlic will come out. And then after staying the garlic in color, because our fire is very in high flame, so that's why it is very easy to make it golden brown. So as you could see, there is the golden brown color now. So now we will put the onion. Then we will put the string beans. So just mix it up. So now we will going to put the radish. So as you could see, it's very easy to put this uh, down. And then after a few minutes of uh, stirring, we will put now the the water. The spinach and the chili will be added when the this is already put and already been cooked because this uh, kangkong is very easy to cook. So also the chili. So we don't want the the sinigang to be very spicy. So that's why we are going to put the chili on the uh, end stage of the cooking. So okay, the, let us wait it to to simmer a little bit and seasonings. Perfect. So now uh, you see we need to uh, stir it again because it starts to simmer now. So we will put some water. So it takes around uh, five minutes and then now we will put the water. We need to put the water for our sinigang wow it looks like it's very delicious you see the orange or reddish color came from the tomato so it will be very delicious <laughs> so we're going to put in high flame so that the water will boil 
So, there is no problem. Even though the water is not yet uh, boiling, we could put the uh, sinigang sa palok mix in the... Uh, so, uh, I'm just going to cut one pop and another more. One more. So, two packs of mamasita. So, sponsor ah, mamasita, don't forget to <laughs> to supply us. <laughs> so, we will just go into steer just to mix the, ano, the powder to the solution. So, we will just wait to boil and then we will go in to add the fish. Hello guys! So now, we could see now that the uh, vegetables and the liquid is already uh, in boiling. So, we just like to see if the vegetables are in half cooked before we put the fish so that the fish will not be overcooked. So we could see that uh, the radish is still hard. So maybe we'll just wait for a, a couple, of, couple of minutes more just to uh, cook the, uh, the radish and the string beans before we put the, the fish. So you could see now the fish. Here is our fish. So we will just go in to put it inside the dish. So you can see now. Just put one by one. <laughs> mm, smells good. Hopefully everybody will uh, go in to enjoy this uh, sinigang. So it's very heavy, you can see. It's a very big fish. And in the Philippines, you could only uh, taste this kind of dish in the exclusive restaurant. Because this uh, fish, talakito, is very expensive in the Philippines. So not common Filipino families were able to buy this one. So it is quite expensive in the Philippines, this type of fish. So normally, we always use some other kind of fish like uh, bangus or maya maya. So you can use any, any kind of fish in cooking this kind of dish, this uh, sinigang. So now we have already put all the fish and then we will go in to put the chili and the spinach. Because also the fish is very easy to cook. And also the green chilies. Around how many pieces? Two, four, six, eight. Oh, so it is around eight pieces of green chilies. So I hope it will not be so very spicy. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you are enjoying this video. So it is uh, only a uh, amateur cooking. No, I am not a chef. <laughs> but uh, in the Philippines, we we always cook this kind of uh, dish, this uh, sinigang. So either we use pork chicken so different types of of meat you can use for this kind of dish and then when all this cook we will going to put some uh, fish sauce and some salt and then we will going to taste if the saltiness is is enough. So if it is not enough, we'll just try to put again. So you could just uh, try to estimate 
how much quantity of fish sauce and uh, salt you really wanted to put. So it depends on your taste bud. So other people has a higher uh, taste bud. So that's why they put more fish sauce and more salt. But uh, this one we will try to make it only on the medium, medium side. Not, not too much salty but not too much blood. So we want it to be in the medium range. Okay, so we we'll try to taste it. So we have our spoon. Okay, so you could see now that the spinach is almost done. So you see, that's why I, I told you to put it on the later part because we don't want to overcook and if we were going to check the piece we could see also the piece is almost almost cooked you see now you see the piece so if we will going to overcook this one the piece will be uh, broken into small pieces so uh, if you want to taste and give some suggestions if you want to put uh, more salt or more so that we could adjust the amount of that is based on your taste bud. Guys, uh, this is the serving, already serving uh, Sinigang. We're gonna taste what is uh, the taste of uh, Sinigang of Brother Eddie. We try to take a fish first. Mmm, yummy. Mm. Really, really good. It's really good. This one is a delicious uh, dish. It's easy to to cook. The ingredients is uh, very cheap and uh, healthy food. Okay. Class. <laughs>